In my previous video I knitted the red heart motif from the 36th issue of Passup magazine using the Passup lock and the pushers. To make that possible I had to divide the heart into 11 different sections and knit each one of them separately. In order to knit sections 4, 5 and 6 I had to transfer the stitches on decker combs, make increases and finally hand sew these parts. The video is very interesting, so if you haven't watched it, I will recommend you to check it out. Today I will need the same red heart, but I will use the pick to carriage. As you can see on this chart, to knit the heart I have to divide it only into 5 sections. I don't need to use decker comps, so seams won't be required in the end. Once again I will increase with one stitch on each side to work on a total of 50 needles. Before we start knitting, I want to tell you that YouTube allowed me to activate the channel membership and I already have my first channel member. Michelle, thank you so much for your support. I hope you all like today's video. Now let's get to the knitting machine. My racking handle is in its lowest position. I have made a cast on over 50 needles on the back bed of the machine and I have knitted 30 rows to create a border for the piece. I will reset the row counter. My front lock is set to GX and the back one is set to N. Now move the lock to the color changer and retread the machine. Drop the front bed, then slide the edge springs and the trip cam for the row counter to the sides. Now place the plastic covers on the front bed. Start by placing the middle one and make sure it is perfectly centered according to the needle scale on the front bed. Now I will attach two weights to the knitting. Once again check if the bed covers are positioned correctly. The black line in the center should go between the channels of the first needle to the left and the right one. Take the pick to carriage and set the stitch size to the one you have used on the pass up lock. In my case it was set to 5. Now pull the black levers and attach the pick to carriage at left of the knitting. Slide the carriage to the right to bring all needles to upper working position. Make sure all latches are open. Take the trip cam for the row counter, insert it into the rail and bring it next to the left edge spring on the back bed. Reset the row counter of the pick to carriage if needed. You will thank me for this tip. Take a piece of duct tape and put it over the slot in the center of the rail. This way the yarn strands won't get inside. Now let's begin knitting. Start laying the yarn strands from left to right. This way you will be able to easily take their ends and weigh them down together with a clip. As you can see I am bringing all yarn ends to the right. Now I will twist the ends and put them between the pads of the machine. I will attach a small metal clip to pull them down. Hold the yarn strands with your hand and knit the first row. Now lay the yarn strands for the second row and don't forget to cross them. Every second row will be the same as the first one. One row of the chart is equal to two knitted rows. In other words, you have to make the increases and decreases of the color sections when knitting from right to left, then you have to cross the yarn strands at the same spots for the second row. For the second row I must have two red stitches in the middle as for the first one. Now knit the second row. 
Now I should have 4 red stitches in the middle, so I will arrange the strands for the second row of the chart. Make sure the strands are crossing to prevent holes on the fabric. Now knit the third row. The next row is a repetition of the previous one, so you must have 4 red stitches in the center. For the next two rows, we must have 6 red stitches in the center. Continue the same way until you have 40 red stitches in the center and 5 white stitches at each end of the knitting. The row counter should be at 40 rows. You can reset it to prepare the pick to for the next section. Now we have to knit 14 rows without making any increases and decreases. I don't mean actual increases and decreases of the stitches. We will work on these 15 needles the whole time. By increases and decreases I refer only to the color scheme. For all of these 14 rows you must have 5 white stitches at each end of the knitting and 40 red stitches in the middle. This is the easiest part of knitting the heart. Please don't forget to support me by liking the video and leaving me a comment below. Now reset the row counter. At this stage we have to introduce two more yarn strands as well as start making the increases for the white areas at each end. The first yarn strand will be the white one. I need to have two white stitches in the center. Make sure the short end of the yarn strand is to the right. I will put the end between the pads of the machine. Now I have to introduce the second new yarn strand for the other half of the heart. Make sure the shorter end is to the right side of the knitting. Clip both ends of the new strands with a metal clip or a clothespin. Then continue knitting. The second row must be the same as the first one. So you will have two white stitches in the center. Now for the next row you must increase the white stitches at each end as well as the white stitches in the center. Now the row counter is at 14 rows and the section is complete. At this stage you can cut all yarn strands and continue knitting with the pass-up lock or you can leave the rightmost yarn strand and continue knitting with the picto. I will knit 30 rows to make the border and then I will show you the final result. This is the heart we just knitted. 
There are no seams that I have to make, I only need to weave in the yarn tails. And this is the sample I knitted using the pasta block and the pushers. You may notice that the sample knitted with the pick to is a bit smaller although I used the same yarn and stitch size setting. The reason for this may be the inconsistent tension of the yarn strands. I guess this wouldn't have happened if I had an intarsia break. That's why you need to knit a test piece before knitting the actual project. That's all for today, now have a nice day and see you in my next video!